Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com, M-I-K-E-K-O-L-L-I-N.com. All right, here's another little tricky trick that narcissists use to hurt you. Um, now, here's the thing. Okay, I might make another video about this eventually, but a lot of us who fall for this, uh, especially empaths, we start to feel like, uh, God, what is it called? We, we start to feel like everything we do is wrong. We think like, well, I can't do that. I'll get in trouble or something wrong, something wrong. That, that, that's a sign that you've suffered from narcissistic abuse. Okay. Now watch this. Now, most of us think of narcissistic abuse as well, our husband or wife, or maybe it's a coworker or, or a supposed friend, right? Well, here's, here's another way it happens. Now here's the deal. Narcissists can see you. Because you're nice and you're kind and you always got this look on your face. You know, you're just, we're nice. The way we talk is more genuine. And so they can see us, okay? The goal is to get you to start seeing them. At the very least, to start to start seeing their tactics. Here is something that is happening that I bet you were never aware of. Okay, so let's say you got your main narcissist, right? That's hurting you or love bombing you or devaluing you, and they're just they're just taking you through the motions, all right? Well, here's the other thing you don't know. What about the guy at the grocery store? What about the manager of the restaurant? I had a I had a neighbor. Um, every time I saw one when I go to my car, he'd be like, "Hey, Mike, how's it going, man?" Just like this super nice guy. What's going on? And I didn't catch it at first. Every time he would start to yell at me. The first couple times he was kind of, oh, you know, just kind of bitching about stuff. But then he, the third time he'd raise his voice and raise it more and raise it more. Toward the last few times he was like, ah, ah, and he just pointed at me. Rah. And it was a very indirect thing. He was talking about subjects that really had nothing to do with me. But he was pointing at me rah, and he was yelling so loud. And I had caught it a few times before going like, what is that dude's deal? Every time you see him, Mike, hey, how's it going, buddy? Like I'm his best friend, narcissist trick. And then he would start yelling at me about something. It was like an indirect, and finally go, are you somehow accusing me of this? I go, that has nothing to do with me. I have no control over that. And so he's like, oh shit, I got caught. Like, yes, you did, buddy. And so here's my point about all this. You're not just getting hurt from the main narcissist in the flying monkeys. There's other narcissists out there that will, you know, do this to you. Don't let anyone point their finger at you. Don't let them yell at you. Tell them, say, hey, why are you yelling at me? I'm like, what? Say, dude, you are really loud. I don't, I don't like that. That's not cool. You put it in their face. Here's another thing you do. If they start pointing at you, you, you go like you're going to grab their finger, even if you're like that far away. Say, hey, man, don't point your finger at me. I don't like that. And do, do it back to them. Go, hey, man, don't point your finger at me. I don't like that. That's rude. And they even say, didn't your mother tell you that pointing is rude? Throw it right back at them, okay? And use your voice like that. Be loud. Don't be a You've got to stop being nice to people that are not being nice to you, okay? So that's a little trick that they use. There, there are people, it might even be your main narc, but I'm talking about people that maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's the guy at the grocery store. It's like they wait for any little thing to yell at you. You need to get back in their face. You need to go to their manager and say, hey, every time I walk in here, this guy finds a reason to yell at me. I'm getting really sick and tired of it. Can you take care of it? But I would, I, I, I have done that route, but I do it more the direct route right in their face. Say, hey, man, don't ever raise your voice at me again. Even if you're yelling about something else, that's not cool. Okay, so the main purpose of this video is to let you know that if you suffer from I'm afraid to make money or I got a new business idea and you get fear, I want to be happy, you get fear, and you just feel like you can't do anything because every time you think about it, it might even get to the point where you can't even clean your own place. You're afraid to do your laundry because you get this real bad feeling in your gut. It's because you've constantly been punished by narcissists. Usually it is your main narcissist or narc or what you want to call it. But it's also because everywhere you go, other narcissists can see that you're empathic or open-hearted and they're going to just fuck with you and they're going to try to hurt you and keep playing this game of, of basically stinging you every time you go wherever they are. But once you see them, all of this stops. For some of you, you're going to feel almost like a sting in the top of your head, okay, or the back of your head, the top back of your head, okay? So this is a sign that whenever you think of, I want to go do so, it's like, oh, it's like you get this sting in your solar plexus, your head, fear. Okay, well, you, you have been, watched the video I made about anchors uh, recently. 
uh, I talk about that. So here's the good news though. Once you see them, they're terrified of you. And all of a sudden this game flips, it flips over upside down and now it's in your favor and you take back your power. All right, so I'm going to leave this video short like that. Let me think. Um, the next video is going to be awesome. It's something that's going to make you feel good about yourself. Oh, hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Click that subscribe button if this, these videos have been helping you. I would greatly appreciate it. My subscription has taken off, and I really appreciate you guys for doing that. Thank you very much.